Hello Libra and welcome to your horoscope for the time of Sun in Aries. That is March 20th through April 20th, 2015 by Gaia Blooming. And usually at this point I go all through all the planetary changes and shifts and I already did that in an Aries overview video. So check that out if you want to know any planetary shifts. I am going to mention one. You have a total lunar eclipse in your sign, full moon in Libra, happening on April 4th. So, you know, a lunar eclipse, eclipses in general, are a time of change. A total lunar eclipse is definitely bringing change into relationships, having it in your sign. And this is for everybody, not just for you. Um, and so, you know, be aware that's coming. And for more details, of course, check out the Daily Horoscope. So, this month, speaking of relationships, Libra, you are working on relationships. And speaking of eclipses, you know, ec their eclipse pattern, I have it written down right here, since 2013 and into 2016, there have been uh, all these lunar eclips ha eclipses happening in Aries and Libra. And that's kind of your, your astrological line. Aries and Libra are opposite each other and kind of balance each other out. So we've had eclipses back and forth between them and will again for another year. So it has been a time of figuring out relationships. And it's interesting because Aries is the sign of the individual. Aries is the sign of I am. And, you know, in comparison, Libra can be the sign of relationships, the sign of we are rather than I am. And so, Libra, this month, your work is to find balance in the I am and we are. How can you be true to yourself and true to your passion and true to your I am vibration and still honor relationships with everyone around you? <laughs> I ask myself that question all the time. <laughs> um, it's, you know, one of the most interesting things about relationships is all of those relationships out there do mirror the relationship that you're having within yourself. And sometimes what they mirror are boundaries that need to be set. Sometimes it mirrors areas we could be kinder to ourselves, and sometimes it can mirror areas where we basically give and give and give and give and find ourselves depleted. And so this, your task this month, Libra, being seventh house, which is the Libra house, is to find your balance. Allow your passion. What makes you feel good? What's the yum to you? To help guide you through this passage. How can you be true to yourself? One of the things I found myself saying a lot lately is, you know, Libras love harmony. But if there's not harmony in here within you because you have worn yourself out catering to the rest of the world, eventually you're going to snap <laughs> and that harmony will be all over out there. So if you can find a way to find harmony within here, doing the things that feel right, then you'll be able to, you know, see the harmony translate without. Again, this is about being true to you and following your, following, I don't know, following your truth, following your own initiative, doing things that are right for you. You know, Libra is so good at finding that balance and finding the justice that a lot of times I don't think Libra is going to like sway too far outside of that, that realm. So find your middle ground, find a way to be true to igniting your passion, being true to your passion, true to your I am, and you'll find that balance. And do it by spending good relationship one-on-one -on -one time with yourself. Even if it's just like writing in your journal or taking a little time for yoga or taking a little time for meditation. Working on that relationship with you will do wonders for all that out there. I pulled some cards for you. <laughs> First one's a little bit interesting, but again, it speaks of finding that middle ground. I pulled the schizophrenia card. And in this card, Osho actually talks about, like, hanging on to two sides of a cliff and being like, oh, which way am I going to go? And I liken that to the harmony that I was, like, talking about. Like, oh, I'm going to try to bring harmony there, harmony there, harmony there. And then suddenly it's like, oh, there's no harmony in here, and you snap. And what he says in this card is it's about it's time to let go and follow your heart, and you land in this soft place in the middle in the clouds, which I really liked. And I was like, well, I didn't want to just leave it on that card. So I also pulled the card, inner voice. 
which is reminding you, tune in to you. You have the answers. You don't need to look outside for your balance for the answers. Tune within, get centered, and it's all going to be wonderful. So, have a beautiful month, Libra, and I will see you next month. Namaste.